One characteristic of good emotional health is self-esteem. Self-esteem is defined as the level of confidence in one's own value or self-worth. Self-esteem is often equated to self-respect. There are five components that contribute to self-esteem. First is a feeling of identity. Your identity includes the qualities, beliefs, and values that make you a unique individual. It's how you perceive yourself. A strong sense of identity involves having a realistic image of yourself, including your strengths and weaknesses. Remember that you are not your circumstances. A person can fall on hard times, but that doesn't define them as a human being. Circumstances can change for the better or for the worse, but who you are and your core worth as a human being remains the same. The second component of self-esteem is a feeling of affiliation. Affiliation refers to the connection with others that results from belonging to a particular group. For example, feeling accepted as a member of a family, friend group, sports team, school club, or religious group. A sense of belonging is important because people need to feel like they are part of something larger than themselves. Be selective about the affiliations you maintain. People around you can affect your self-esteem through their comments and interactions. It is important to seek out affiliations that foster positive interactions and avoid people who are abusive and do things to hurt your self-esteem. The third component of self-esteem is a feeling of competence. Feeling competent means that you believe that you have the skills or the ability to acquire new skills to achieve your goals, overcome problems, and achieve success. It is a sense of empowerment. Setting realistic goals and recording when you achieve those goals can help you to develop a sense of competence. You can approach new challenges with confidence because you have met previous challenges in the past. Developing this component of your self-esteem will allow room for personal growth without fear of failure. Fourth on the list of self-esteem components is a feeling of purpose. Everyone needs to have a sense that the work they do is useful and that the life they lead is meaningful. It helps to have a good sense of identity, that is, the kind of person you want to become and what you want to achieve in life. When you have a clear vision of your goals, you can take steps that are relevant to that purpose. Without a sense of direction, it's hard not to feel useless. Setting an intention gives meaning to your efforts and allows you to develop internal motivation that helps you to independently solve the problems that arise in your life. The feeling of purpose inspires hope that we can make a difference in the world. The fifth and final component of self-esteem is a feeling of security. A foundation of security is achieved when a person's basic needs are met. For example, having enough to eat, clean water, shelter, and safety from harm. This sense of security is enhanced by the knowledge that you are loved and respected by others and that you can trust the people around you. Security develops further with the awareness of the expectations to which you will be held accountable and the ability to exercise control over certain aspects of your life while understanding the limitations of your power to control other aspects. These five elements are necessary to achieve a high level of self-esteem. You may feel strong in some components, but need work in other areas. It's important to inventory where your strengths and weaknesses lie so you can focus your efforts toward developing the areas that need attention. Regardless of your starting point, self-esteem can always be improved, so don't worry if your self-esteem is low right now. Fortunately, self-esteem is not a stagnant feature of your personality, but rather a quality that can be built up and strengthened with a little effort. Here are some tips that can help you to develop higher self-esteem. Take care of yourself. When you respect something, you take good care of it. Remember that you are worthy and you should take steps to make sure your body is well maintained. Pay special attention to your personal hygiene. Shower and brush your teeth and hair daily. Wear clean clothes that are comfortable and make you feel good. Eat a healthy, balanced diet. Exercise regularly and get enough sleep. Make your living space clean, comfortable, and attractive. By taking good care of your body, you will develop a sense of pride in how you look. Self-respect begins with self-care. Write a list of your strengths and achievements. 
Sometimes this can be hard to do, especially if your self-esteem is currently low. Ask a trusted friend or family member to help you think of the positive traits you possess. You might be surprised at the beautiful way others perceive you. Once you have compiled your list of strengths and achievements, read it daily to remind yourself of the unique and valuable qualities you bring to this world. If you really struggle with self-esteem and you can't come up with anything positive to write about yourself, try creating a list of what you wish you believed about yourself. Strive to embody these qualities daily and make sure you give yourself credit when you do something that exemplifies the traits you admire. Challenge the negative thoughts you have about yourself. When your inner voice says things like, I'm such an idiot, or I can't do anything right, this is referred to as negative self-talk. Shut down the negative self-talk. Silently say to yourself, these are thoughts, not facts. Replace the negative thoughts with positive affirmations, like I am worthy, or I am enough. You could also refer to the list of strengths you wrote to remind yourself of all the good qualities you possess. When people compliment you, don't respond with negative self-talk. It's okay to just accept the compliment by saying thank you. Resist the temptation to compare yourself with others. Everyone is an individual person with their own strengths and weaknesses. No one is perfect, even if their social media profiles make them seem that way. Remember that people don't usually post about their mistakes or broadcast their most embarrassing moments. A better strategy is to compare your present self to your past self. Notice how much you've grown and matured over time. Forgive your mistakes and challenge yourself to continue improving by competing only with your former self rather than with the people around you. Set goals that you can realistically complete and make sure you record these achievements so you can remember all you have accomplished. This might mean completing a task you've been putting off for a while or just being more efficient at a certain component of your daily routine. If you're ready to step outside your comfort zone, you could try something new and observe how much you improve with time and practice. It could be a creative outlet like painting, music, dance, or poetry, or a physical challenge like running, lifting weights, or a sport you have never tried. Whatever your goal might be, the important part is having reasonable expectations. You most likely will not be an overnight sensation when trying something new, but if you can pay attention to the small victories of daily improvement, you will develop your sense of competence, which is one of the main components of self-esteem. It is important to remember that failure does not change your core value, and it can provide opportunity for learning and growth. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good and participate in activities that you enjoy. Avoid people who are abusive or those who harm your self-esteem. Take time to relax and partake in self-care. This might mean taking a nap or a bubble bath, getting a massage or pedicure, or just treating yourself to your favorite food. Reduce your stress level by dropping one thing from your to-do list to make time for self-care. It is also a good idea to keep visual reminders of the people and things that make you happy. It could be as simple as a photo album of people you love or events where you had fun. Looking at mementos like this can remind you that you are worthy and loved. Finally, make time to volunteer in your community. You could commit your time to an organization, student group, religious group, or simply a person in your neighborhood who could use a little assistance or company. Helping others will distract you from your own issues and will increase your self-respect when you see how much your work is appreciated. Self-esteem is the foundation for emotional health. It is important to build your self-esteem by developing your sense of identity, affiliation, competence, purpose, and security. Realizing your inner worth means loving your imperfect self, all the while embracing opportunities for self-improvement.